Well, too high, too wide, and too long. Well, new boots are in town, 40 feet in the air. Even big techs can't wear them at the big D. My name is Bob Wade. My record is the biggest cowboy boots in the world. I was kind of a guinea pig artist project in Washington, D.C. in 1979. I said, Bob, we're going to give you a corner right downtown D.C. by the White House. Let's see what you can do that competes with the surrounding buildings and an empty 30-foot, 35-foot lot. So I said, okay, 30 feet this way, 40 feet this way. You look pretty good. A lot of, lot of Western stuff going on. Dallas, Larry Hagman, Urban Cowboy, Urban Chic. Perfect deal. Built them. The boots are like a little baby Eiffel Tower inside. They have all kinds of steel structural elements that go up. It's all crisscrossed. Years later, I think we got a nice coat of a hardcore concrete with fiberglass mixed in with it. So these guys, durable, nice and cool. You want to live inside for a couple of months during the hot summers? Go right ahead. The boots were sort of not sure where they were going to go next. It was the craziest thing in the world. I'm going, where are the boots going to go? And I got a phone call. Sure I'd like to buy those boots from you, Mr. Bob. Was we'll maybe send them to San Antonio. They were supposed to be transported on two big old long flatbed trucks. Turns out everything was too long, everything was too wide, everything was too high. So we wrote a country western song called Too High, Too Long, Too Wide. Of tourists and beers, those boots are still standing real strong. Guinness World Book of Records overall has always been famous in everybody's mind. It's crazy. And uh, the idea that one of my projects would end up in this famous publication is pretty overwhelming. But I am really proud to have the biggest cowboy boots in the world, I got to tell you. So, you know, nobody really uh, thinks I'm overly crazy, just a little.